Easy girl. I got my horse loaded in the trailer. I've got all my supplies here in the truck. My plan, my hope today is to go over to the winter pasture and get all the cows moved back home to the home ranch, get everybody vaccinated, bull calves need to be castrated, uh, all the things. So we're going to try to do that today and we'll see how it goes. That's what's going on today on Farmer Tyler Ranch. I think first we'll get Tony out of the way so she doesn't mess up progress. That went way too easy. Well, the first thing we gotta do is get him out of that big corral into this smaller one, and then I can start sorting off cattle. We're gonna be taking two loads of six, one load of seven, and then one load that will just be entirely calves. So they've been pretty cooperative so far. Let's hope that trend continues. Come on. Come on. Turn around. Come on, kitties. Up we go. Ah. Ah. 
Over the years, I've found that the best way to move these girls home and process them is to just do it all in one swoop. So we dump them out of the trailer right here into the working corral. I'll run them through the chute and then they'll be back out into the big corral with the rest of the herd. And I don't ever take six in the tub, but they're all in there. So why not? Let's give it a try. I'm starting to remember why I don't take six in the tub. It's just not quite big enough for that many. So today the adult cows are getting an eight way shot and triangle 10. And it'll be the same thing for the rest of them. That's load number one. Hopefully we got all the bugs worked out and things will go a little bit smoother on the next one. Let's do it again. Load number two. These girls are gonna get the same treatment that the last group got. A shot of eight way, a shot of triangle 10, fly spray, and a new ear tag if they need it. The only difference in this group is that one of these cows does have pink eye, so when I get to her, I'll start filming again and show you how I treat it. All right, so here's the pink eye patient. It's an adult cow, obviously, and usually, to be honest with you guys, she will get over this by herself with no treatment, but I, I like to give them a little bit of treatment anyway, just to kind of speed that process up because I don't think it's very comfortable for the eye to look like that. Um, so I'm gonna give her a spray of Vetricin, I believe, yeah. So it's pink eye spray. If I have some glue, I will put a patch on that and by the time the patch comes off, the eye should be better. Load number three. 
the way they make these patches, there's a seam up here that causes this to bubble out so that it's not just rubbing on their eye the whole time. And we'll just put a little bit of glue around the edge and slap it on there. Okay, you're gonna be a pirate. pink eye a lot of times you'll notice the animal holds that eye closed or they stand in the shade they're basically trying to hide from the sun because there's something about that sunlight hitting the eye it, it appears to hurt them so that's the purpose of the patch to not only keep like flies and stuff out of there but to also keep the sun off of it to make her a little bit more comfortable while she heals up so let's turn her loose i got one more to go back here she seems awfully eager to get in the chute so We'll get her and get the next load. First two loads have been six cows each. I've got seven cows that are left here and I think that I can squeeze them all in here, but it might be a little tricky getting this gate shut. So we're gonna try it and hope for the best. And I guess worst case scenario, we'll just have to make a, another trip if we can't get them all in there. Stay there. Well, we got one calf in. Let's try to sort that one off. You, you'd fit. That was the load I was the most worried about getting in the trailer, but they did fit and you can see there it's tight, but they, they have room, but I don't think I could get an eighth one in there for sure. So I am gonna go dump these off at the ranch, run them through the chute, just like I've done with all the others, but I'm probably not gonna film this group only because I, I try to minimize the amount of time that I leave those calves locked in there by themselves because if they were to happen to break out or something like that, it would be pretty hard to catch them again, I think, because they'd be off looking for mom. Well, mom's not here anymore, so I could just see see that being problematic. So we're just I'm just gonna do these as fast as I can so that we can get back and get the calves loaded. Well, it looks like everybody's still here. There should be 17 of them. We'll have to count them and make sure, but let's see if we can get them in the trailer. You guys made a wrong turn somewhere, didn't you? Let's try it again. There you go. No sense in trying to push calves too fast because if you do, you almost guarantee they're not gonna go where you want them to. Backwards the whole way. Man, don't do that. Come on, kids.
preferable to get them backwards, but we can get it done. but I think it's time to put this little bunch that we've got done here. We'll put them back out with their mothers. Might quiet things down a little bit for me. Um, the reason why I'm not just kicking them out, leaving the gates open like I usually do, is because if all these gates were open, the cattle would just be coming in here and getting in the way. So I need to keep them out of the way until I get done, and then we can open the gates and put them together. So. When I get, you know, a handful of calves, I'll just turn them loose kind of as I go. Last one. It feels really good to have that job done. That's a, it's always a huge undertaking every year. In fact, I think it's easier in the fall to work everyone, and I usually do them all on the same day, but in the fall, the calves work so much better just because they, they flow better. When they're this age, they just, they fight you every step of the way. And when they're a little bit older, even though they're a little bit wilder usually, they're they're just easier to work because they move and they do kind of what you expect them to anyway as i was running the calves through for the ranch cows and the winter pasture cows i've been taking weights on all the calves i would like to track their growth and kind of see who does the best and whether that's from genetics or from a good mother it will be hard to say but still we'll know who's the best and at this point i'm even curious about the difference between the average weight of the calves that were raised here at the home ranch and over at the winter pasture and luckily for me we can look at that quite easily so this screen is the calves that we just did today and it, it lists 16 i must have forgot to enter an ear tag which is kind of a bummer but for so for our minimum weight was 158 pounds our maximum weight or our heaviest calf was 344 and a half pounds and our average weight on this group of calves was 274.9 let's call it 275 pounds this screen shows the group that i did day before yesterday we had 17 animals i think that's right i'm not actually sure <laughs> The lightest one was 155, the heaviest was 341, so pretty close to the numbers in today's group. The average was 266.1, so pretty close, but the, the winter pasture calves definitely have the advantage. It'll be interesting to see if that trend is true next year and the year after that. I mean, I'm wondering um, if there's some sort of a connection here, but that'll be the kind of thing that we will learn in time That's one of the things that I just love about that Gallagher W1 scale head It just automatically calculates all those things and then it saves that data to the cloud Which you can then download to an app and if there's interest I'll show you guys how to do that in a later video But it is kind of cool to have all that information in your phone if you want to reference it uh, You don't always have the scale head handy, but you almost always do have your phone handy Well, I got to run back Back to the winter pasture get the four-wheeler these cattle are just scattered all over the place i need to get them in the proper pasture and get cleaned up but i think i'm going to call the video here thanks for hanging out with me today guys and i hope i'll see you again on farmer tyler ranch